You know, if you can imagine, like, try, playing the piano, but not hearing it until like a day later, but like building a skill so that the next day you were going to get something back, but you didn't, you were never quite sure exactly what it was. So there was always like some, some kind of a magic that came as a result of that. Phil Tippett. Yeah, he knows a little bit about movies and magic. He knew they were like salt and pepper, ham and cheese, red carpets in Hollywood. They go together. And Marge wanted to know why. She said it might be time to see just who was behind this movie magic thing. Marge was pretty sure she'd find out the who but she knew she'd have to weave some of her Marge magic. Um, why are you guys here this evening? To get the why. You're very sharply dressed, so I'm imagining oh. <laughs> that you're nominated. <laughs> uh, we are nominated uh, for the main character for Wally in the category uh, Best Animated Character in an Animated Feature. So we're rooting for our friends and colleagues in the visual effects industry. Yeah, it must be very exciting to be here. It is. It is. Always great to be nominated by our peers. Mm -hmm. This is quite a night for the effects society. <laughs> it's a celebratory night. That's right. People should see that you guys are celebrating. We are. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, we are. <laughs> well, this is already the first. <laughs> well, congratulations yeah. on your nomination. Thank you. Um, Thank you. We're nominated for Best uh, Outstanding uh, Supporting Visual Effects in a Motion Picture. I think that's a neat category. Oh gosh, well it was actually stemmed from an idea that we had all the way back from Toy Story. The best animated character in a live action film, and then the overall uh, best visual effects in a visual effects driven film. Yeah. And you'll be at the Oscars tomorrow too. Uh, ben will, Ben's uh, nominated for the Oscar, yeah. He's up for an Oscar as well. Oh wow, cool. What we discussed early on uh, on the movie was actually how to make sure that we always spent the visual effects, uh, you know, sort of work on focusing on something that supported the story and wasn't the throwaway. We didn't want to make a, a movie that was filled with effects for effects sake, but actually a, a, a supporting the story and the characters. Whoa, hold on. Let's back up here. Is the magic really there to support the story? To support the characters? And since when did the magic of a visual effect support a story or a character? There was just a, a magic that was, you could kind of tell, you know, that it was powered by something, but you couldn't tell what. It was just a magical process that, that you know, brought something to life. And we got to just ask for crazy stuff, and we got to really kind of think big, and then it was sort of Marcus's responsibility to figure out how to get us that stuff. Yeah, we didn't know how to do that, any of yeah, that stuff. So we just would ask for stuff, we and just then stuff to go boom. And, yeah, yeah. It, it was really, it was a great luxury. <laughs> but on the whole, we really tried to keep as much of it organic within the film as possible, and then take those few select moments that were very important to Charlie, and really sell those as best we can. Um, well, I have to wear these really odd sort of pajamas, and we have to fasten uh, tracking markers around them. And I was fastening a couple around Robert Downey Jr., and he told me he loved me because it meant he didn't have to wear the heavy uh, costume. But it's you know it's not terribly attractive looking, but he actually wore it with a plum. I would say, wouldn't you? He joked about us providing him with one of his most embarrassing moments, and he said, you know, and that's really saying something for me that this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it was a big challenge, you know, because Wally's such a simple character, and for all of us to be able to work together to create someone so expressive out of, you know, just a box with arms and binocular eyes, it's a really big, big achievement, I think. Yes, it was, my friend. Yes, it was. And there were many dangers averted. The danger with any technology is something can get so caught up in it that they actually aren't paying the attention on the story. Right. But that's a discipline problem. It's not really a technical problem. Right. And that's always been true. A good story is a good story. A good story. Yes. A good story. Marge said that everyone has a story to tell. She said even objects and things had stories. And she said that some stories never end. I didn't know why Marge said these things, but I didn't know she wasn't going to stop. 
Not until she got the whole story. <laughs>